In today's video, we're opening up blister packs to find the rarest collector rares ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another collector rare blister pack opening and in this one we're going to be opening up a bunch of different collector rare sets to try and find some of the best collector rares ever made. Now, collector rares have not aged well. They're pretty new, they started in 2020, but I checked the highest priced collector rares before I did this video and I found out that, in fact, Cyframe Gear Gamma is the most expensive collector rare out there. It's only like a $200 to $300 collector rare if it's in first edition, and that is literally the best one. After that, they're like under $200. They are really not that many expensive ones, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. So in this video, we're going to be opening up some Toon Chaos to try and find... I mean, literally the best collector rares in Toon Chaos, so we could get it. Our second set that we'll be opening, we have a bunch of these packs, is King's Court. This has a lot of cool cards, and then you can get the God cards as well, which are not collector rares, but they are really cool, you know, potential Secret Pharaoh rares, Ultra Pharaohs rares, stuff like that. We could pull those out of here, so we have a bunch of those. And then we finally have two Ancient Guardians, which actually, not a great set overall, pretty bad set actually, but... For some reason, the collector rares in this set look really good. I don't know why, so hopefully we'll pull one out of these two packs. And uh, let's just get into it. I think we have 24 total packs today. Should be fun. But wait, if you guys want to win the giveaway, I have four different cards I'm giving away. These are all in pretty good condition. This one's in what I call nostalgic condition. Not great. Uh, so to win those, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about collector rares in general. Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Do you like how they look? Do you think they're too cheap, too expensive? Let me know. All right, King's Court, first edition. Let's see if we can pull a Lightning Storm collector rare. That's the one I'm thinking of right now. I know there's a couple other good ones, like I think Rivalries in here. That's one of the only ones I pulled, like out of a random pack. I pulled a Rivalry once. I don't remember where, I think it's a two from the back, but I'm just gonna go through it. Uh, we got a Utopia, wait. Wait, do we get something? No, okay, it might be at the back, okay. Eternal Bond and a Crystal Girl. That's just a super rare, so we did not get anything. All right, let's do another King's Core because we do have the most of these. I think we have a few Toon Chaos and then two of those Ancient Guardians. I didn't have as big of a, of a variety when we kind of did this with the Starlights the other day. Go check that out if you missed it. It was pretty fun, but uh, not as many different packs, but I still think they're pretty solid having the King's Court is a pretty good one. We got Wicked Avatar, Unexpected Die, Warrior Returning Alive, Jack's Knight, King's Knight, Converging Wishes, and Court of Cards. Yeah, King's Knight and Jack's Knight would be pretty cool pulls as well. King's Court I have not opened much of since like it came out, which was 2021, I believe, a couple years ago. So I'm pretty excited to get to open more of this. Tomb Chaos as well, because that is just a fun set. Cloud Castle, I can't believe how bad the Collector Rares are doing though. But I guess when they're just, they're just not as good as a Ghost in, in Starlights in my opinion, so it makes sense. Pendulum XCs and Court of Cards again. That's back to back of that one. All right, let's switch this up with one of our Ancient Guardians. Can we pull? I know the Skullmeister is in here. There's a Pancratops in here. I pulled one of those and then traded it to Nim Nim in one of his videos. So that was pretty fun. Uh, pretty nice Dino Wrestler Pancratops. I honestly would like another one of those. So hopefully we could pull that. That'd be pretty cool. Collector Rare. I don't know what order they're going to be in because they're all different. So we're just going to go for it. Skullmeister. This is not the Collector Rare, just the regular Rare. Most of the, or I think all the Collector Rares usually have a Rare version. Uh, or at least they have a Foil version. Silph Accord Musica, Trade In, that also is a Collector Rare. And the Silph Accord Angelia. So, a bunch of supers. You guys know how I feel about Collector Rare sets. I specifically don't like how few pulls you get. Because you get supers every pack, and then you get three ultras per box so three per 24 so it's one every eight then you get a collector rare one every 72 so re realistically you're getting one every eight most of the time which is not a lot of fun what i do like is i don't have to do the pack trick here which is great uh the wicked avatar we got numbers c39 utopia ray rivalry of the warlords so that's a nice collector rare we've got arcana extra joker and we have winter rose closure so like this is just like normal ratio that we've pulled nothing through five packs that's, that's just normal with collector rare sets so just shows you why I don't like them. Not that I don't like the cards inside, I just don't like how hard it is to pull stuff. Like, I think there should be cards that are hard to pull, like the Collector Rares, but I don't think everything should be so hard to pull, you know? I think you should still get, you know, some cards in between then. It just feels like you don't get a lot. Cloud Castle, we got King's Knight, Majestic Dragon, number 39 Utopia, Stardust Zangalong, and face card fusion i think that that like terrible ratio is a main reason that you see these boxes usually do go down because the value opening them is just not there because you're only getting three ultras every time and that's it so it just doesn't work out to keep the box prices up so they get really really cheap which you could think is a good thing but it's kind of bad because then like stores don't want to pick them up because they lose money on them you know and then there's just less of them it just doesn't really work out for the uh the card economy we've got the uh dread road we've got the tolmy 
Start a Zenglong and a Scrap Twin Dragon. I saw Synchro. Synchro just makes me think foil, but I mean, it's a foil, but you know, not ultra rare or anything. Okay, Toon Chaos time, unlimited, unfortunately. If it was first, that'd be crazy, but still. The Gamma Unlimited is still like 200 bucks, so very big card. If you guys remember when Toon Chaos came out, there was a Walmart craze. People lost it, everyone was showing up. Let's see if we can get something big. I mean, I would take not a Gamma. I'd take like CED or something cool. Oh, Rux and Special, right to the foil. Okay, so it's actually in the middle on this one. Gotta keep that in mind. Master of Vapor has got a rare printing in there. Okay, King's Court, back to it. So far, we have not pulled a single card, so not going well we've pulled a bunch of supers and that is it okay no pack trick. we got baxia pretty good rare dowsing fusion arsenal zin mao the pot of awesome very cool the zolga the prophet zolga the prophet is that what it is wow why does that seem weird majestic dragon and a chow fang phantom of the yang zing okay cool super rare but Still no ultra. We've now pulled nine cards. We're only just past the ratio of what you should normally get. King's Court, I believe in you. You can do this. You can give us a good pull. Give us a lightning storm. I mean, those aren't even that crazy in ultra rare, but if we get in collector rare on the other hand, that'd be pretty cool. Or you could give us a god card. I'd be down for that. We got Baxia, Dowsing Fusion. I don't remember where they show up in the pack though when that happens. Pot of Awesome, Zolga the Prophet, Majestic Dragon. White Rose Cloister, we are 0 for 10. King's Court, we have a lot of King's Court, and so far, guess what? The Court of the King has not been clutched, let me tell you. We haven't pulled a single non-super rare or rare. Okay, Stardust, Gravekeeper, Spy, Reinforcement of the Army, Roto would be a cool one, I'd take that. Uh, Ties of I think I still have one of those in one of my decks. Wicked Avatar, and... Tindangle the D-hole. All right, we're gonna Tindangle the D-hole. Uh, you know what? The reinforcement of the army, I do recall looking really good. And that's why I kept it, because I really like it. So I have it in one of my, I think it's one of my go format decks. Pretty nice. So maybe we could pull that. Do these come in collector rare? I feel like they have to. I can't remember. Pendulum McSees, Golden Eyes Idol, the Ultimate Shield, Rescue Rabbit. The Wicked Dreadroot, and Joker's Knight! We have finally pulled an Ultra Rare. Wow, this is incredible, guys. An Ultra Rare has been pulled out of a Collector Rare set. I mean, it's you might not ever see that happen. That's how rare it is. We finally pulled one. What is that? Oh, for or 1 for 12, 1 for 13, something like that. Now it feels like a time to go back to our Ancient Guardians. Can we pull something? I don't know. Can we pull something epic like the Pankratop CR? That's what I would like to see. Hanger Tops is a very cool card. Let's see if we can do this. You gotta believe, guys. Here it comes. Sulfur Court Formal. Urstartic Megatanis. Ignite Reload. The Venomenon, the King of Poisonous Snakes. Ogdoidic Hollow. Viper's Rebirth. And Urstartic Megatanis, another super rare. Who would have expected that? Okay, even more King's Court than we thought, which that's good because it's gonna give him a chance to pull something because we've only pulled one ultra rare. Now's the time to get a collector rare. We got Arcana Extra Joker, Leo Arms, Zolga the Prophet, Unexpected Die, The Wicked Eraser, and Joker's Wild. Man, these just feel so bad to open. Still several packs left though. I might've miscounted. I think we might have more than 24 packs. Maybe we have like a couple more than that. Not really sure. I just know that I want to pull something big and King's Court could have a God card. It could have a collector rare. I mean, come on, Dowsing Fusion, Wicked Dreadroot. Magnet Induction, another Magnet. This is a rough opening so far, guys. Really rough. We have one Ultra Rare, so I think that's it. I think that's the only thing of value so far is an Ultra Rare. Collector Rare sets, I mean, this hasn't really changed how I feel about them. It just kind of reinforced how I feel about uh, Collector Rare sets. Gravekeeper Spy, Rhoda, Ties of the Brethren, and Court of Cards. I just, I think these need a revamp, like big time. We have to decide a new way to do these. It just doesn't work. All right, back to Toon Chaos. A revamp would be very, very nice. I mean, if we could, you know, throw some Seeker Rares in there. I don't like it all rares. I think that's kind of weird too. Not a fan of that either. It's just, yeah, overall, we got a lot that we could do. Let's do three. I think that's what it was. Master of Goku. It's not Rux and Special. Sacred Soldier. It is Toon Chaos. We could get Pot of Desires. That's a good one as well. Um, also, I think Pot of Extravagance, maybe? Prog Leo, we got Blacklist Soldier on from the beginning. That's, of course, one. Master Deanne, and I think it's the next one. Fright for Sabretooth. That was like a $16 card out of Dimension of Chaos before that reprint, by the way. One of my favorite sets to open, Dimension of Chaos. Back then, it had some crazy value. There were so many cards that had not been reprinted, but not happening now because, yeah, they've been reprinted now, so... 
It's just how it goes. Let's see. King's Court. Will you finally bless us with something actually good? We have a Joker's Knight. That's it. Ultimate Shield. We have Rescue Rabbit. We have Wicked Dreadroot. And... Scrap Twin Dragon. Oh my goodness. Scrap Twin Dragon. Come on. We got we got to update these collector rare sets. I am just not not loving them. And also we're having kind of bad luck too. I mean, like we should have more than one ultra by now on average. But of course it's blisters. So, you know, better or worse. It could be either one. F-Zero. We got Pendulum XCs. Arcana Knight Joker. Rivalry of the Warlords. Reinforcement of the Army. The Backseat Brightness of the Yangzing. And... I feel like we've pulled this like four times. Have we pulled this four times? Maybe. Okay, five total packs left. Three of them are King's Court. Two of them are Toon Chaos. I'm just winning one collector. I know, I know. And it's one in 72. It's probably not going to happen. I mean, but we had 24 packs. So we had like a 33% chance. I'm hoping that that chance comes true right here. Number 39, C39. Rivalry of the Warlords. Arcana Knight Joker. Arcana Extra Joker. Leo Arms. Zolga the Prophet. Thunder Speed Summon. No! All right, four packs left. Toon Chaos. Please bless us with something toony. I mean, something toony would be nice, but Toon Harpy Lady is also a super, so I guess that wouldn't be that great. Three from the back. We had to do a pack trick on this one. Come on. We have Toon World. That'd be cool. I don't know why it's not a collector rare. Chaos Ember Dragon Envoy of the End. We got Dwarf Star Planeter. We got Master Hero Deanne. Black Lizard Soldier Envoy at the beginning. Gear Breed and a number 77 bam or number 75 bamboozling gossip shadow he bamboozled me and I think he's number 77 I think number 77 is the spider right malevolent sin I think that's right maybe it's number no it's number 70 three packs left in this collector rare escapade which has gone very poorly I think the starlight rare didn't go awesome but I think it went better than this I mean we actually pulled some decent stuff come on we got Kitseller, Tolmy, Start of Zenglong, Gravekeeper Spy, Reinforcement of the Army come on give us a collector rare come on Wicked Ravitor, we have number 49, Fortune Tune. No! One pack left of each. We will do King's Court first, and then we'll finish with Tune Chaos for the rarest collector rare out there. Cyphering Gear Gamma. You know what'd be funny is if we pulled a god card, because it'd be like, oh, it's not a collector rare. Out of a collector rare set. Interesting. Warrior returning alive. We got Majestic Dragon. ZW Ultimate Shield. The Cloud Castle. Pretty cool. Converging Wishes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Rescue Rabbit, and come on, a Joker's Wild. Those were so bad. We got one Ultra Rare. Ugh. Final blister of the video. Tune Chaos. You gotta believe, guys. We need to believe that we can make it happen. We have to pull something here, or this has been one of the worst openings we've ever had. One, two, three, which we've had some bad ones, but maybe this is not gonna be the worst when we pull a Collector Rare. Tune World. Chaos Ember Dragon, Envoy of the End. We once pulled a Stardust for someone. First edition out of one of these. Stardust Dragon. Speak of the Devil. Is that weird or what? We called it. I mean, I was talking about the Collector Rare, but it's still weird that it popped up. Cyframe Driver. Keeper of Dragon Magic. I think it's the next card. Our final card of this Collector Rare opening. We've opened at least 24 packs. I might have miscounted. There might be more. And we pulled one Ultra Rare. That's it. So this is where we redeem ourselves and pull something awesome. Oh, next card. Next card. Yeah, go back to that speech. Okay. Eternal Chaos. Okay. Collector Rare sets. You have not performed super well in this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about Collector Rares and their sets in general. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.